Excel is probably the most ubiquitous tool in the analytics marketplace. If you're brand new to analytics, there are some key skills that you need to learn. In this video, we're going to break down where you should start by identifying the top three skills that a new analyst should learn in terms of Excel. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's John David here with How to Get an Analytics Job. And in this video, we're going to go through a podcast highlight with uh, the impressive Ozdu Soule. He is a longtime Excel user, and he's, in fact, an Excel MVP, which is kind of a big deal. He has been selected by Microsoft as one of their power users, essentially. There's only 62 worldwide, and he's been selected. And you're going to be learning directly from him and getting his insight on where you should start if you're brand new to Excel. Before we get into the podcast highlight though, I need to give a shout out to the channel sponsor, which is HQ Greensboro. I'm currently filming this on location here at HQ and we are in downtown Greensboro. This has been a wonderful environment to help grow my business which those of you who don't know, I'm an analytics agency owner as well as you know a YouTube personality and online educator. I've met multiple business partners here and even snagged a few clients. So if you're ever in the downtown Greensboro area, I would highly recommend you at least check this space out. That being said, let's get right into the highlight. Sort and filter can take you a long way. Okay, so mm -hmm. first there, because you can um, sort in different levels in Excel. And I think about my early days before I even knew how to write a formula. At least I could look at the data and say, okay, these are similar, but let me get them all in one place. So I'm gonna sort three levels and then that's gonna put this stuff in one place and then I can manually move it over and then do it again and get this stuff so thinking about the data, sorting and filtering and being able to see patterns and, and work in patterns. So you're starting to massage the data with, with that skill set. So that's yeah. sort and filter, you yeah. that's the number one place to start. Yeah. If, Where's yeah. number two? <laughs> Where would you go from there? Um, I don't want to lead you, but um, yeah. what about the power stuff? Okay, so so that's where I'm thinking. Number two is kind of hard because I'm thinking about should pivot tables be second, but that, that can be a gap because there is also writing formulas. Mm -hmm. I would say that it is powerful to be able to write an if statement, even if it's nested 10 ifs deep. Mm -hmm. That can help a person get at what they're looking for. So I don't actually know if I, here I am hosting the How to Get an Analytics Job podcast, mm -hmm. and I'm not mm -hmm. sure, I just don't use if, it's an if-then statement, right? Well, it's an if function in Excel. Okay. Right. What does that mean? <laughs> that means... Um, so if, if so, um, this is met, so say if it's over $10,000, include it in this column? So like one thing is like deduping something. Um, so I get things sorted by say uh, first name and last name. Mm -hmm. And then I will say equals if this name equals the name underneath, then put an X, otherwise stay blank. Run it uh, down okay. the whole column and then the X's are names that I need to look at. Okay. Right, so if so much stuff is that kind of condition, if a sale is over this number because that's the minimum for getting commissions on it, then put an X. Okay. Okay. So then, so now, now you're starting to kind of structure the data. Structure, right, right. Um, ifs can do a whole lot of stuff. So. I, I just think of when I first started working with Excel, I did a hell of a lot 
with sort, filter, and if, and manually moving stuff around. Okay, so that's and, like the easiest, like if, if you're, say you're looking to get an analytics job tomorrow, or maybe next week, maybe tomorrow's too, too fast. You can you master those three things, and then you're gonna be at least basic level proficient. And you it, it, if you're thinking right, you gotta be able to think right, okay. and, and see patterns. And see, okay, I need to get these three things together because if I get these, then I can move this out of the way and then I can see how much real work I've got to do. So it's, it's, it's all kinds of stuff there. Uh, but then, um, and then Excel, from that point, it depends on what you need to do with Excel because okay. there are people who need to make charts and dashboards and stuff. That's never been me. So, you know, like 15 years into me working Excel, somebody got on me about not knowing how to make a certain graph. Well, how do you, how do you call your experts? So, well, I'm an expert at cleansing data, uh, working with data dumps, uh, building tools, and those tools have never needed to have any graphics in them, right? Uh, mm. But some people do need that. So, you know, this kind of reminds me of the question of Oz, teach me Excel. Well, after sort, filter, and if, now we get into what do you need to do with Excel? And when they don't know, then that's kind of hard. And that right. comes, yeah, that comes up when people, they'll say, you know, my employer spent $2,000 and sent me to an Excel course and it was five days and two of those days are stuff that I don't need. But, you know, so, yeah, you teach general Excel and you teach people about how to make a, a dual axis graph. And then the person say, you know, I am never going to make a dual axis graph in my life. Um, it's been, yeah, it's been my experience that the easiest way to learn is just to take on a new project. Yes, yes, yes. But then when you mentioned the uh, power stuff. So here's how I've approached this. I've got a weekly challenge that comes out on LinkedIn every Friday morning. Mm -hmm. And so through that weekly challenge, I introduce Power Query and different tools in Power Query. And it's through the real world challenges because that's what I draw from. There is no standalone, just conceptual stuff. I say, okay, we pasted this data in from a web page and the name is stuck right up against the phone number and it's structured this way so one thing we got to do is we got to get it unpivoted and then we got to get the name separated from the phone number okay we're going to take it into power query and then we're going to use the unpivot feature and then we're going to split the column by non-digit to digit 